Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing MPQ Marvel Puzzle Quest. Back at it again, thanks for jumping on. We've got some PvP action in First Avenger, the three-star Captain America battle. That should be a lot of fun with some good boosted four-star characters in action, plus some five-star champions. We're going to jump into that after we do our tokens, and we're going to start things off in the one of the Deadpool's daily quest battles, the four-star hard node. Behemoth Burrito, starring, featuring, the essential character of Juggernaut. Fear itself, the four-star Juggernaut with a couple of uh, others, three-star and two-star characters. Let's just jump into that, then we'll do some tokens and character levels and hit the PvP. All right, let's go. Let's see if Juggernaut can win. This should be pretty fast and easy because... He's got the team damage component, the AOE damage that hits every time he makes a match in his colors. And at this level, he's going to be quite a bit above the um, damage component on the on colors of his red, black, and or red, blue, and green. Um, but also, you can see the black on the board. He also tanks that everything but yellow and purple. So watch this team damage. We're going to do. Um, Let's see, there's a couple of different things we could do for initial matches. I guess what we'll do is this. you got to go for the match four in green. I, uh, a lot of times I look to see if there's a multiple way to set things up, but let's go for it. See that 378 plus hits the other two characters each time he does a match. This, should, this, uh, this here will be over pretty quickly. We've got red and a match four in black. We'll go ahead and take black. Red is a Juggernaut color, but it is a passive ability. He's got two passives. Green is the collateral that deals the additional damage when he makes a match in his colors. And then Unstoppable, where his match damage is increased by 225%, and he takes 90% less damage from enemy matches. He's really pretty, um, you know, invulnerable for a while for the most part, and then his blue ability, Breaker of Stone, is pretty cool. I would have designed this maybe a little bit different, differently, maybe added some bigger damage component to it, but the point is it destroys a column and then random tiles within the adjacent column and should actually do some uh, cascade damage and that kind of thing. I don't even think we're going to be able to get enough blue in time to play it within this match. should go pretty quickly from here on out match green and it's just doing so much damage check out the totals they're higher um look at the match itself when it happens that's a number that floats up to reflect the damage but then look at what is actually presented against the enemy character above so we'll do black and blue and that's pretty much the color that the enemy team is going to look after this match with juggernaut More blue here. We're never, we're just not going to get his ability played if we keep making Juggernaut matches. And green. That is a victory over a thousand for that damage. Cool. I knew that would be a short and quick one. Really big time damage from Juggernaut. That does it for Deadpool's Daily Quest. We'll go ahead and get our tokens ran at four tonight. Let's start at the back. Maybe we'll keep this to a nice and short video. We'll see. Thick as these, we got one random token. Let's see if we can get better than a two star. Just a two star to start things off. All right, let's go through. I guess I should point out Emma Frost was the Heroes for Hire. The next one is Wiccan. So that starts uh, by the time you probably see this video tonight or tomorrow. Mr. Sinister, this store is open, and even single token draws. We've got three draws to do here. They have a chance at getting Mr. Sinister. The, the odds are pretty rough at 1 in 250 are the odds of getting a 5-star. But at least, hey, you know, we're going to earn tokens for this. Let's give it a shot in this store. We'll take these three. Probably not going to do too much. But we could get a 3-star or even a 4 just a couple of two stars. I don't usually do the 200 hero point draws from these stores, but I'm going to do it today. Just one time, just a two star. All right, probably won't do that much more, but uh, just so you know, the 10, 10 pack and the 40 pack have a little 
little bit better odds. One in 167. I got to point this out because every time I hear people in my alliance say, man, I drew a 40 pack and I just didn't get sinister. Well, the odds are one in 167. So four times 40 is still only 160. So if four, if you and three other friends, four of you, each do a 40 pack, only one of you is likely to get Mr. Sinister. So just know the odds and uh, don't be disappointed if you try a 40 pack. It's pretty tough. I am not going to do it. Um, we'll see. I don't think I'm going to spend the, the, until he gets into the command point store. We'll decide how many to do from there. All right, building up the support tokens. I keep talking about we're going to draw those soon. Latest Legends are building up really nicely, up to 72. And Mr. Sinister rotates in here in roughly two weeks. And Professor X will become a classic legendary and rotate from latest into classic at that time. So a lot of people, by looking at Mr. Sinister's stats, they decided, you know what, I'm going to go for Professor X right now instead of waiting for, for Sinister. And uh, they're doing their draws. So if you're doing draws now before it's too late on Professor X, let me know in the comments below. Just a couple elite tokens. We did get gold with Doom. Put a bunch of draws earlier so we don't have a whole lot to go through for heroics, but we'll do the 10 pack today. Unless we get a four star from these four. That's pretty rough odds, but could happen. I think we ran pretty good last time, so maybe we'll save our luck. We'll do the Got a three star from the 100 hero points. Always worth it there. 10 pack time. One in 14 odds of a four star. So every time you do a 10 pack, you're about, oh, roughly 70% chance of getting a four star. There's no guarantee. Good shard rewards from a tenner. Let's go. And we got the four star. Awesome. Three, two, one. Totally awesome Hulk to start off the, the multi-pack. Doom, three star. A lot of Storm. Black Cat and Sabretooth, are you kidding me? What a 10-pack. Three four stars. Thank you guys for the viewer luck. That was ridiculous. I'm glad we pulled that one tonight. We're also going to do our Mighty Tokens every time we have seven or more, we draw seven, and that number is just because odds of getting a four star are one in seven. After that 10 pack, I'm pretty much thinking we're going to get seven three stars in a row. We'll see if we get surprised. And we get Drax to start off the mighty tokens. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay. What is going on? Three, two, one. Get a Mysterio. This doesn't run this well, guys. I don't know what it is, but whenever we're filming or recording, the odds are just way too good. Dr. Octopus, three star. There's no way we'll get another four here. Right. She-Hulk after Doom. Three star Deadpool. And the last mighty token is Beast. That makes more sense. Man, we just ran way too good. That's really just great. Thanks so much, guys. Let's add up these awesome rewards. Did I have the sound effects too high? Let me see about that. Where's my storm? Oh, good. We need more blue. Great. Let's jump her up. Three star Magneto shards. That might mean we can level up from shards for him. Getting close to another MPQ player level, the actual shield rank. Might have three star Thor shards enough to level up as well. And that's it. We got our duplicate human torch within about two days or so. Let's go to the three stars. 
ran really good. 43 three stars. Let's do it. A whole stack of hero points there from Deadpool. I think it was 250. I wish you could see the number float through with the reward a little bit better. It's represented behind the um, reward as it's moving forward. Mighty token from Doom. Blade earns us five command points. We've got a shard level on him. Probably keep him as a target hero until he's close to 250 or something like that. Worthy cap shards from three star Captain America. I'll take it. Did we just hit our. Where are we at on Doctor Strange? Oh man, another. 13 cover, 3 star that we can add to the pile. We've got about 5 before this of our duplicates that can be re-championed. That's great. We're saving those so we can uh, do them all at once before we draw legendary tokens next time. Speaking of legendary tokens, there's one from Mystique. And we can add those save covers in for Strange later without taking up any other time. And the same thing with Thor. Got it. Let's go to the four stars. Man, how did we run up to 12 four stars to add in crazy viewer luck? Level 292 on a Mysterio. Drax takes a level with 100 shards for five star. Star Lord. Sabretooth hits 290 for another legendary killer hit from the 10 pack as well with black cat there in the uh, mid 290s very good banner gets a hundred shards for the five star juggernaut level from pvp rewards he's at level 292 now and if you can't quite see it 23 oh no 24,600 health at that level awesome didn't mention it earlier, but check it out. We added that cover in to MODOK. We finally got him up to level 355 plus a couple of other covers on the rewards queue here. And besides that, we have another four star. We're going to champion two four star characters today. He's one of them. 100 hero points from X23 at level 351 now. Jubilee gets some shards for five star Phoenix. And there are the MODOK covers. We don't have to add them in there. We're going to get those in a second. And no five stars. Very cool. Let's take a look at the back end of the four stars. Unbelievable. We've got MODOK ready to go. Let's do it. We're going to champion a new four star character today and add in our champ levels. 78,900. Let's go. And, of course, as we get the first champion level, that's a legendary. And a couple of command points beyond that. Level 274 on champ. Modok. Awesome. Okay, so now I really think we have to consider how to respec him out. Um, I think you really have to keep his red at level 5, assuming you're planning to use that for him. I'm not sure, man, 9,200 or 5,700. I think we really need to upgrade that and reduce Afterburner. So Doomsday Plan is a cool ability. It places a eight-turn countdown tile, so it's really high number. But the passive side is anytime you fire a friendly ability, then it reduces um, the uh, Doomsday Plan countdown tile reduced by three turns. So it only takes a, a couple of abilities played to reduce that countdown toward zero and then it will fire off for big time damage of 90 plus 100 for only a cost of seven so that's why it's great that afterburner only costs six it creates three strength 85 red enemy attack tiles but then converts six basic tiles to red and might even just already match those attack tiles away um, which is great if they're enemy attack tiles of course and then it deals 1429 damage to the target if we would expect this back up toward where it was a little stronger uh, attack tiles and um, a little more damage to the target and again um, not a huge difference to go to level five so i think we're good to keep this down at level three because 
we want a hammer for every nail set at uh, level five because this thing can, can do some pretty good stuff. Creates three strength, three fourteen attack tiles, so close to about you know nine hundred and almost nine fifty, nine forty something for uh, those attack tiles. And then once you play it, the red changes over to a chisel for every stone. Uh, it, it just fires three rockets, so it's three individual damage hits of fifteen thirty three each. Really nice, especially if you have strike tiles or okoye on your team to add to that damage. And then the second, the, the third time you play it after those first two. He uh, lobs two grenades at the enemy, which means he just creates two two-turn countdown tiles that each deal 4,200 damage. Really pretty awesome, a chance for doing um, over 8,500 total there. And then uh, Brute Force usually does the trick. Modok fires his forehead laser. <clears throat> yeah, man, edit that out, please. And then deals 7,127 damage to the target. So... Uh, nice direct damage if you get all the way to laser. His red is really fun. We'll get in to play Modoc soon. Let's go now to Carolina Dean. I ran pretty good on her covers compared to other new characters. And she can be championed as well. 271, 300 to become a champ. We'll do it. And uh, we still need to get another cover for her from the end of the simulator. And that ends tomorrow. So we'll be doing another video, of course. Play the champion fee, and until we get that cover from Sim, I don't get that legendary. So uh, definitely looking forward to do that. But it's cool to have her champed. And what I think we'll do is, um, what do you think we should do? Let me know how you spec her out. I think you definitely need her green at level 5. So I think we'll take yellow down. Might change her around, I don't know for sure. But this is her only real... Uh, direct damage, 26-12 damage to the enemy team. If there are two more friendly special tiles on the board, she heals allies for a burst of 378 health f um, f uh, per tile. So a max of five times that. So not not too bad, really. Could be bigger on the damage, but you know if, if it comes along with healing, it's a kind of a, a two-way power. Pretty good. Let's look at Rising Sun. It only costs six, and she places a three-turn fortified countdown tile on the, on the board, um, which creates one strength, 148 Protectile each turn, even while she's airborne, and generates five or, or and generates five blue AP when it goes off. But it's not always going to go off because while this tile's on the board, Carolina is airborne and this power becomes Sunset Strip. When she's airborne, right, it's it's Sunset Strip because um, when there are five or more friendly protectiles on the board, um, at the start of the turn, she removes the Rising Sun countdown tile and converts three of the Protect tiles uh, into Strike tiles, right? So, it's kind of a two-way power. You can hope to plan it to convert to Strike tiles or hope to plan to get that blue AP from it. It uh, just depends. I'm not sure if I explained that perfectly well, but I think you guys kind of get it. And then uh, Team Spirit is as long as they stick together, nothing can keep the Runaways down. Carolina Dean builds a Barrier of Light to protect her team creates two strength 36 protectiles for every runaway on her team. Carolina creates one additional protectile. So if you have, and that's at level three, level five gets pretty good if you run her with Nico. There, she's the only other, Nico is the only other runaway in the game, and they'll create uh, all three, three protectiles and then two more for each runaway. So it's a potential for seven protectiles in one shot by the way you've got the passive where when an ally is healed carolina improves the healing by 35 percent that's on top of the healing that you get from her green ability which is already just you know decent healing so uh, that's at level five i'm going to run it at level three i don't know how much i'm going to get out of the additional healing or the protectiles we'll see and play her along let me know how you guys spec her out and who you play her with if it's anyone besides nico let me know so, speaking of Nico, we need to get into PvP, and she happens to be one of the boosted characters in First Avenger. I think we're going to jump in and try to play her. Let's see, who do we want to go against? Yeah, I think we'll take them. Let me think here. Probably need to play them against uh, Thor team since he doesn't heal. Let's go. This might be a pretty good challenge, but I want to get... Nico and Nebula into a match. Uh, Nico's actually a pretty decent high-level champ for me. 
57,900 health, and she's got some cool abilities. We'll get into that in a second, and I'll play it along with Nebula, who specializes in attack tiles. Might be kind of cool. Wish me luck. This might be kind of a challenge, but I think we can take it on. Guys, I know I'm sorry. I sound like I'm in a hurry. I'm just trying to get everything covered in a quick manner today and keep the video a relatively decent length, um, short-wise. <laughs> I never really do that quite well. So, okay, so we'll, in this matchup, we'll probably try to take Captain America out first, and then we'll see about either Okoye or Thor from there. We've got Nico tanking purple and yellow, black, and blue on this setup. That's actually pretty good. I think she also, yep, tanks team up. So, Nebula only tanks green since cap is going to be assigned on red very cool so i'd like to start things out with nico matches if she takes um a lot of damage from matches it doesn't matter because she has a pretty good heal and so in this setup where you have a double move don't start with this red and go down start with this yellow and go up that will that will ensure that nico stays in front since you started with her color and she will take the match damage that comes along with the next move. Interesting setup on the next turn. You've got two different ways to do a match four. And I like to look at what's along the line break to see which way would be better. Or, um, you know, what would be the result of the tiles that fall otherwise. I think we're going to do the red one in this case. We pick up blue on the line break, which is more important than the black. Let's go for that. Hate to have Cap get too injured, but worth it for all that red. Now, look at this. We have Nebula's Grim Efficiency ready to play. I think this is an underrated ability, actually. Um, it only deals normal damage. It's not very high. 6,500 damage to the target, but then creates two strength, 522 red attack tiles for every three green our team has right so two for every three green we don't have a lot of green yet just five let's try to get nine before we play that maybe and we'll get a lot more out of our attack tiles um i want to get this red but that'll line up a, a green match for the enemy team and that's probably not good what should we do otherwise anything doesn't look like there's much else to do except for that team up down here and they'll take red hmm we got to take it Good. They took the team up. That doesn't matter too much. That'll allow us to get the green next. Red. Okay. We need to get... Hang on one second. Okay, all good. So I think we want to go for... When the enemy has to match black, it's not a big deal. Since they don't... Uh, it does match damage, but it doesn't build up an ability for them. But um, we really need to just do that blue for Nico as well. It turns into a pretty decent stun. And what do we want to go for here? This is a neat... Um, hmm. Actually a tough decision. I, we have to go for the match four on yellow. I was just looking to see if there was another way to drop that to do something bigger. We'll go for the yellow there. Really want to get just one more match in green. We seem to be stalling a little too much, but once we get green, everything will fall into place. Um, that purple's a good match, but we'll take red first. Lucky yellow, and they set us up for green. Perfect. Okay, so we'll do the green that drops purple. Now, Nebula's going to create red attack tiles and we don't want to lose those immediately after playing them so we better do um which way do we want to make this yellow yellow drops red let's do it this way because it kind of misaligns green above yellow drops red takes more red off the board oh man that set them up way too well way to go rick so what i'm thinking here is we've got everything ready to go let's start out they're gonna play their red and hit me pretty hard and it'll be nico's red or caps they both cost 11 and it's gonna hurt but if we put nico up front she can heal afterward so let's go for more purple piercing throw that's gonna sting 
Ouch. Oh, how did they get an extra move from that? Hmm. That really was unfortunate. They took away my Nico's countdown tile. I need that on the board. So let's do this. We'll get a little more green this way. Oh boy, they're finding ways to get everything to drop now. They have 11 green, that's super bad. And I, I know I take way too long sometimes to play an ability, but I would really want Nico to get a little bit more damage and then she'll create her countdown. And that's important. While this, when blood is shed, countdown on, is on the board, we get a much better um, set of abilities from her purple and yellow. So everything's set up pretty well. Let's start out, though, with... Grim Efficiency, this is the uh, target damage plus creating attack tiles. Check this out. Look at all of those attack tiles. I know the upfront damage isn't much, but that is a board full of attack tiles, and they are 522 each for 5,742 attack tile damage after a move. Now we'll play Nico's Trifecta. That will create a strike, attack, and protect tile on random colors. That's why I wanted to get the reds full first. That's as many as we could get. Now um, we have a protect tile out. Let's play. Nico's heal ability. Places protect tiles and then has a true healing component after uh, it adds up how many protect tiles on the board. We can play again. Watch this healing. 15,000 plus true healing from Nico. So great. Let's move over to Thor here. We're going to save the other yellow. We can play it again, but I don't want to waste it. Let's go for a Galactic Rage, which is team damage. And it's, it starts with a low number, 1800, but it does damage for every friendly special tile on the board. With Nico on the team, we flooded the board with specials. Check out this Galactic Rage. 19 thousand damage to the team is pretty nuts so we have everybody's blue ability ready to play i think the best one to play is going to be caps blue because they have their 12 green and uh, we can stun thor with it that way i think it'll be great so we're going to place um a blue we're going to make a countdown on the board blue and you see this black match that could potentially be matched away because it's uh well, let's change that. We'll play Peacemaker, stun Thor, place it there. And now it's no longer a match that can take away my projectiles, right? Yep, pretty cool. Let's go. Man, if we could get another set of green, that would be awesome. And our... Koi's going to heal a little bit, unavoidable. Watch the beginning of this turn. Nico will increase the strength of our special tiles at the beginning of the turn every time we have more than the enemy does in that type of tile. We're up to 9,600 attacks, 1,106 strikes, and 6,800 protectiles. This is a really good situation to be in. Let's take yellow because I think Koi is going to go for it next. Look at that damage. Oh, man, Slice Sorcery is going to remove a special tile. That's no, no fair for us. Thor's over there. Um, let's heal uh, Nico once again with more projectiles. That's just so great. Match and the damage after the fact means Thor is gone. Bad luck with red. We can't get a break. They're getting lucky. And how in the world does she end up with 11 red after that? Gotta be kidding me. But that's okay. More specials. And another stun, and this is probably going to start the end of the match here. I guess we'll play it there to save those specials. Couple turns stun. Now watch the total damage we get up to here. 11-4. Increase. Yellow. Increase. And two more turns should do it. What can we... And Akoi is going to hit us, though. That's all right. Nico can take it and heal afterward. One more turn. We almost got her down to avoid this damage. Quite the win, though, with four stars against champion five-star characters, and that is the win. Ah, I should have played a different blue ability there. 
But hey, work went pretty good. I know I absolutely over explained everything, but some of you who don't have experience with those characters might appreciate that a little bit. Let's get into another match with a couple of boosted four star characters. Let's see. I want to play with. Sorry, wrong button. Iron Fist is a nearly maximum champion on my team, so he's got 62,000 health ready to go, and I think we're going to be able to play him not with Gwenpool. She's the other boosted character, and so is Thor. All right, so we're probably going to play him with a five. That's fine. So we've got a blue, black, green, blue, green, black, technically, and he plays really well with Daredevil. I've played those two a couple of different times. So let's change it up a little bit. Let's bring in Phoenix since she's got a purple and red. We'll probably use her red once and then Cap's after that. We don't have much going on for yellow here except for Cap's own yellow. We'll see if we even get to play it. Let's go. So this team is going to really just rely on getting a strike tile out for Iron Fist to start running with his blue, which leads into his green, which leads into his very big black. I think it'll play well. Here's a white that drops blue and blue. Very nice drop. Okay, and so now what do we do? There's red, which should be a priority, and also black and green. Let's take the black since it drops green this way. Okay. So we have our blue ready to play, but I don't like to play it too soon with Chief Focus. It's a lot better if you have a couple strike tiles on the board to begin with, and we're not going to get that unless we play Phoenix with her uh, red ability. I'm surprised they took... Oh, yeah, they do take purple there. we got to watch purple for Daredevil. He's definitely most dangerous with his purple ability. There's another purple match here, but, man, there's so much going on with the green and blue. I think we'll take the purple just to keep it away from Daredevil. He could not only stun, but also... Whoa, that worked out well. Uh, besides the stun, he can also steal our strike tiles when we do create them. Extra move in green. I think we got lucky with this lineup. And here we go. So we've got a couple of matches in red. This is probably about the best time when there's a lot of close together red to play. Phoenix and her psychic rapport, her purple ability. Um, let's see. What is our green ability damage just to be on the safe side? 21,000 is huge. Yeah. And we have our black ready to play. We're way ahead. All right, let's play Psychic Rapport now. Maybe we'll get some automatic matches in red. Yep, did pretty well there. And we'll match damage. Cap out. That's probably a fine way to go. And then, no, let's move. Let's do this. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm deciding what to do. Let's No, let's make a red match first before we do the other moves. Okay, so we'll go red here. Thought they might take that. Darn, I was... Okay, white and blue. Then we'll play our red ability. Got cap out. Some other lucky drops. All right, now we go for it. Let's start damaging Daredevil. We'll hit him with a Psychic Flames. Damage plus, Strike Tiles on red. And now while we have Strike Tiles on the board, this is going to be great with Iron Fist. Chief Focus adds a Strike Tile on purple, but if you have other Strike Tiles, he will fortify them and gain a bunch of green. Three green AP for free. Let's go. Nice to get those Strike Tiles fortified. That means they can't be removed when they are matched. And when, you know what, let's play it again. We are way ahead in this matchup. This is great. So our damage from black, oh man, that is so big. All right, let's hit 
Daredevil with crowd control once. 24,000 additional damage with the strike tiles is great. We can play it again. And we get black AP whenever we do damage when there's more than one enemy on the board. When it is a single enemy, you get additional damage. And guys, we can already end this thing with a like unto iron. This team went really well. Huge hit for way over 34,000. And that one is over. Wow. Got a little bit of run good there. Thanks to the viewer luck once again. This will be our last match of the night. Let's see what other team we have. That's probably a fun team. Let's take on a Chavez team with 5-star Carnage Champion. And, man, I did want to play Gwenpool. We'll wait on Gwenpool. Maybe we'll play her next time. I did want to get in a match with 4-star Thanos. These guys might have a cool combo. I played with him a little bit before when Thanos wasn't boosted, but now he's level 390 with the 4-star featured character boost and um, a lot of health, and we're going to get a lot more damage out of his black, and we'll probably play his green instead of Carnage. Carnage has a nice red, but we might play Captain America's red if we get enough. Let's see how this works. And um, you'll notice I lined up Carnage on the left and Thanos on my right, and there is a uh, hopefully a good reason for that. Well, there's an intention for it. We'll see if it works. Uh, what do you do here? There's a match four in blue, but I honestly think you want to do the the team up match four because you'll get a three match in blue and then also a red. Let's do this way. All right, and Carnage is going to add a enemy uh, tactile to the board of return uh, as long as there are less than four he'll add two so let's go for another yeah we'll go for green here it drops a red okay so now there are two enemy attack tiles here we'll add two and let's do the green match this way to keep that enemy attack on the board because now that they didn't match it away, we'll get a free turn from Carnage. Free match from Carnage here. Oh, right. Okay, so that's what we're trying to talk about, is if there's more than three enemy special tiles on the board, Thanos removes one and adds three green to the board. So that's why these guys might play pretty well together, because we're going to get some uh, a lot of extra free matches in green, I hope. So watch what happens at the beginning here. There's four attack tiles. We get a free move. And now Thanos removes one and adds green to the board. So that is a whole bunch of additional match and damage potential in the beginning of every turn. Here we go again. There's only three, so he's just going to add two. And then Car and then Thanos removes one. And we get a free match in... in uh, that's great. So let's do this. We'll go ahead and play Mad Titan's Mercy. This will destroy 32 random tiles. So exactly half the board. If we happen to destroy any of the special tiles, then we'll get new um, attack tiles from Carnage. Definitely a chance for good cascades from that and i wanted to do it quickly because we'll go ahead and knock out america here with a shot from star spangled avenger i didn't want to play this because the countdown would be on the board i didn't want to play it before mad titan's mercy because we could uh, run the risk of removing it and let's just put it somewhere down there where it might be safe america's out and we've got a three turn countdown tile to earn a bunch of red back now let's start damaging cap on their team Our team does not have a lot of rainbow coverage with active abilities, but it's really a team where I don't know that that matters a whole lot. Now we have our stun ready to play. Let's hit Okoye just because we're going to get a projectile when this resolves, and having her stunned just um, means that we're going to take a lot less match damage while she's out of the match and let's see let's go for green maybe this way 
Oh, he's going to take red, I'll bet. Up to seven red. A little bit of danger. Enemy attack tiles. Free green. Normally you want to match away attack uh, enemy special tiles, but in this case I like to leave them for the extra turn. Extra move, I guess I should say. Alright, now what? We have our red ready to play again. This is going to just about take Cap out. We'll go for a Star Spangled Avenger maybe down here. Or, nah, something like that. He is out. We got to have a little bit of strike tile damage on the board. Let's play... I'm going to keep Okoye away from yellow matches if possible. One more turn, we get our blue countdown resolved. Extra move for free. How cool is that? Protectile from the CD. So what do we do here? Probably just give her another quick stun. She's not going to have a lot of turns in here as we get more blue and stuff. Purple doesn't do much. It's hard to get enough yellow to play Cap's yellow ability at the expensive cost. This is not a fast team at all. It's just kind of a efficiency team. Twelve thousand plus damage. We have our vicious determination ready to play. Could have saved um, this for. Well, she could have played it earlier if we got enough black. But deals nine thousand two hundred two damage to the target, and then it deals an additional forty nine hundred six to all enemy heroes. So uh, Akoya is going to take both of those added together, straight up damage. And um, if there were the other two heroes on the team, they would have taken that uh, team damage. Nice big hit for 14,000. And we're going to end it here, guys. We can already play Blood Feud. Target damage plus Carnage steals a little bit of health from his allies. And at 2,300 health, let's go ahead and play another Mad Titan's Mercy with all the green we have. And that is a win. Very cool. So I'll try to play Gwenpool in a battle on the next video. And we're going to make a big run in the shield simulator with pvp there gwenpool is just one of my favorite fun characters to play not that she's rated really high but a lot of fun if you know what her ability set is and she's also boosted in this in this um, event and i just want to point out really quickly to check her out her green ability is just so much fun if you take a look at um st starts with a passive with a gun tile on the board when you when you match or destroy the, the chekhov's gun tile away uh, this ability becomes a 10 green AP of, uh, a power where she deals three separate shots to a random enemy for 7,501 damage per shot. It's really pretty awesome. And uh, keep in mind, it, it doesn't miss. It just is random. If there's only one enemy left, they will be hit by all three of those shots. Really cool. We'll take a look at that and take a, a big run in the simulator on the next video thanks so much for watching guys please hit the mp icon you see on the left side of the screen to become a subscriber if you aren't already we need to get our count up quite a bit more if you can tell your allies to check out the videos if you think they uh, find it interesting or fun appreciate you letting them know have a good one see you next time